A lot of people who see me on stage don't realize that I didn't get comfortable with public speaking until well into my late 20s. Up until that point, I had fear and anxiety around public speaking. Now, what's really important for you to realize is that fear or anxiety around public speaking is something that we learn. We are not born with a fear of public speaking. As babies, we'll quite happily wail out to get attention. As young kids, we'll, we'll run around and, and skip around, singing our little hearts out. But somewhere along the line, we either experience something or a number of things that then create this fear around public speaking, this anxiety around standing up in front of a room of people and using our voice to communicate. It could be that maybe you came from a family that thought that children should be seen and not heard and so you were constantly told to be quiet or to shush as a young child, which then has suppressed, started to suppress you and stopped you speaking out. Maybe at school you were asked to read out a page of a book and as you were reading down through, you messed up a few of the words and every, all the other kids in the class started laughing at you and so you've then created this, this memory that speaking out causes embarrassment or it causes you to look stupid. Now, I can very vividly remember a very significant moment in my life that changed the way that I felt about public speaking. Now, before I tell you the story, this voice that you are hearing now, this very low baritone voice, I have always had a voice this low. Even as a young child, I sounded like a foghorn. At the age of seven, I was doing the Christmas Nativity play at school and we, we were doing the rehearsals. Now, if you didn't have a part in the play, either as like Mary or Joseph or as a wise man, or you put a tea towel on your head and pretended that you were a shepherd, if you didn't have a main role, then you had to be in the school choir. Now, there's one particular year when I was seven, I didn't have a main role. So I was in the school choir and we were rehearsing. I was singing my, my lovely little heart out and the teacher paused us and turned to me and in front of all of the other kids in the school said to me, Anthony, all we can hear is your voice. Could you just pretend to sing? So I was asked to mime. At seven years old, I was asked to mime. This instantly gave me a complex about the way that I sounded and then set me up for a path of the next 20 years trying to get over this fear of speaking out and using this voice to communicate. So what I want you to get out of this is it's really worth looking back and trying to identify any significant moments that have happened in your life or significant events that have happened that have caused you to feel this fear of public speaking. Once you identify them, it allows you to understand why you are fearful of public speaking and it allows you to change that story. It allows you to move forwards with a, and create a new identity so that you aren't scared about speaking out, so that you aren't scared about speaking in public. My, my goal for you and what I'm trying to do through these videos is to really help you and as many other people as possible really understand this whole area of communication because your ability to communicate will affect your success, your happiness and, and what you will achieve in your life. So I really want to be able to help you grow those tools as a communicator, whether that's standing on stage and speaking to hundreds of people like I do every single week, or whether that's just having much more meaningful one-on-one -on -one conversations. So take a, take a look back. What are the significant events that have maybe affected your perception around public speaking? See if you can identify them. And that is just the first step in moving forwards to, to becoming comfortable when it comes to public speaking. Now look, if you found this video useful, if you found it valuable, if you've enjoyed me sharing my story with you as to, as to how I became fearful of public speaking, please either leave a comment, share this, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, but I'll see you in the next video. But until then, my name's Anthony Lay. Take action, create your story.